Oh, what's up everyone this is Asadullah Chaudhary and in today's lesson I'm gonna show you how you can make this web page layout number three so if you are a newbie then I would recommend you to go back and watch my tutorial number one and two otherwise you will get stuck alright so as usual I'm gonna open up my Microsoft paint just to make this layout actually today I'm not gonna make this layout because uh, it will take a lot of time I will copy this instead I'll copy this inside and I'll be just writing the codes. Okay, so I just pasted this layout over here and now it's time to write the codes. So first of all, you can see there's a border around this whole layout. Yeah, it's a light gray border. So it's a, it's a main page wrapper. So I'm gonna pick its color just to write its HTML. div id wrapper okay then there's a header that is containing the logo part as well as the navigation part let me show you what I'm talking about this is the header the red box is gonna be the header and the header is also a container that is uh, containing the logo as well as the navigation bar. Don't worry about this uh, red border. I know it's uh, looking ugly right now, but uh, this will be removed. It's it's just a temporary border. I just want to visualize the things. Okay, so the next next is div id header. and the header is containing logo as well as the horizontal navigation so this time I'm gonna write the HTML for my logo dev IT logo now it's time to write the HTML for my navigation menu and you can call it navigation menu or whatever I mean if you if you use this portion for a navigation bar then definitely it's gonna be the navigation menu or you can leave it as it is I mean the blank horizontal bar it's all depends upon you ID for now I'm gonna call it nav bar okay so right underneath the header there is a left panel which is a sea green colored uh, sea green colored box and then this purple purple box and then there's a pink colored boxes grid so I would put I would like to put all of these inside a container so I'm gonna select a color this time it's gonna be light brown color or whichever you like this is the container that will be containing all of my stuff the grid part as well as the left panel okay so I'm gonna give it an ID and this time div ID this time the ID is gonna be content okay so now I have to create this uh, left panel you can call it aside or whatever depends upon you div ID aside or you can call it left panel okay so I would like to put my grid inside a separate container what I mean to say is I'm talking about this part let me mark the part I'm talking about this entire part I'm talking about the grid I would like to put my grid in this blue container so I'm gonna give it an ID div 
Jeff ID I'm running out of space so that's why I just wrote wrap instead of wrapper so grid wrap is uh, equivalent to grid wrapper grid wrapper and then uh, I can see is there are uh, two two types of rows I have the first one is this one and this row is containing a this row is containing this purple big box eggs as well as the light colored pink boxes and there is another row which is right underneath this one I'm talking about this one and this will only be containing the pink colored boxes all right so now it's time to create this create these rows okay div id row actually in, instead of id i should use the class selector instead because uh, i have two of the rows uh, and both of uh, both of will have the same styles so if you apply if you want to apply the same style to more than one element so you will be using the class selector instead okay so now it's time to target the big box uh, which is in purple color uh, let me pick its color div id big box now it's time to target these uh, pink boxes okay div class I'm using class because I would like to because I need to apply the same styles to more than one boxes so that's why I'm using the class selector instead great all right so now we are ready to go I'm gonna open up my text editor as you can see I'm using sublime text editor 3 I'm gonna create a new file and I'm gonna save this file inside a directory as usual that I'm gonna create right now it's layout number 3 and the file name is gonna be index.html I would need another file this time it's gonna be my CSS file and I would like to put my CSS file inside a public directory and then there is another, another directory inside a public and this time it's gonna be CSS and CSS is the right directory for my CSS file it's gonna be style.css okay so now I'm gonna generate my HTML so all I need to do is to write HTML and hit the and tab perfect okay so line number four it's gonna be meta char set utf8 it's compulsory for, uh, for all of your HTML pages and layout number three tutorial now it's time to link my external style sheet uh, which is inside public CSS and then style.css is the file name okay so now I have to create this wrapper the light color border div ID is gonna be a wrapper it's 
so the wrapper is containing the header now it's time to create the header ID header and the header is containing the logo as well as the navigation bar logo as well as the navigation bar as you can see we successfully done with the header part now it's time to go to the content part I have to create uh, this content div which will be containing uh, my rest of the content that would be right after my header container div id content and the content will be containing first of all the left panel then there is a and there is a container that's uh, uh, that is a grid wrap div id left panel and another container id this time it's going to be grid wrap and the grid grid wrap is going to contain grid wrap is containing the rows two of the rows div id actually not id this time it's going to be class i'm talking about this part div class row i'm going to create this row row and row number second perfect so the no row number one is containing this uh, big purple box as well as the grid so first of all I have to create this big box this big box the purple color and if you can if you if you take a look uh, let me open up the right image okay so if you take a look right after the big box there are one two three four four square boxes at the top and then four square boxes at the bottom so four plus four equals to eight so now it's time to create eight of these boxes I'm talking about the light pink colored boxes Dave actually this time I suppose to uh, give it a class and the class is gonna be grid First row is containing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight boxes. And the second row is containing the twelve boxes, I guess. Let me show you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six plus six, twelve boxes. I should copy this HTML and paste it over here and f I need four other boxes just to make it well actually the big box is not required in the raw number second one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect So we've done with the HTML part now, now it's time to write the styles. So I'm gonna open my HTML file in a browser 
and uh, Google Chrome is my defo default browser so that's why my file was open in the Google Chrome initially so instead of using Google Chrome I'll be using the Mozilla Firefox so why because uh, I would like to use its developer tools I'm gonna paste my URL over here so as you can see on the tab layout number three that means this file has been successfully opened in Mozilla Firefox okay so now I'm gonna right click inspect element so these are my Mozilla Firefox developer tools these are absolutely free whenever you install the Mozilla Firefox so it will be in that package so I have to click this style editor and I think I should pop pop this window out the tools are popped out successfully and uh, okay so now I have to create a new style sheet over here you can get confused because uh, you you already seen I have already created one if I go to my directory uh, layout number three so there you can see I have already created my style sheet so why I'm gonna do it once again because uh, you're gonna use the developer tools so the developer tools must know where exactly your style sheet is placed so it's, it's just gonna make sure that uh, your style sheet is saved in a particular URL so that's why it's asking you to create a new style sheet I'm gonna click this new button new style sheet now I'm gonna save this I will give it the same URL where my previous style sheet has was uh, saved and I would like to replace it with the current one if I if I save the file it says style.css already exists do you want to replace it yes I would like to replace it uh, okay so now let me increase the font size and we are good to go the first rule is gonna be asterisk padding zero margin zero this was the reset rule the second rule is gonna be markup I'm gonna target the markup and border is gonna be solid and that was gray not black but gray so just to pick the color I would like to go to my uh, W3 schools and uh, I like to use its color picker I think this color looks perfect for for the border yeah it looks perfect okay on line number three now I'm gonna target the header border solid I have to give it a red color a red color to my header and actually the border border color and then I have to uh, then I have to target my logo which is uh, inside header has a background color which is background color which is this one I guess the light red color light red color now I would like to give it some height and the height is gonna be 80 pixels and the width is gonna be how about 25 percent or 24 percent yeah 24 percent looks perfect 
Okay, so now it's time to target my navbar. Navbar background color. I have to choose the navbar color, and this time it's gonna be this one, I guess. Background color height is gonna be the same as same as uh, my logo and the width is gonna be 73% so now it's time to put my logo as well as this navigation bar navigation bar side by side so I'll be using the float property once again first of all I would like to float uh, my logo uh, you can you can get confused over here and you are if you if you don't know about how to use the float property so I would recommend you to go back and watch my float tutorial okay so I'm gonna apply this float property to my logo it's gonna be float left I'm not done yet I mean you can see the navigation bar is uh, on the right side now but I have to float it as well float left now it, it looks perfect so as you can see the floated elements are taken out of the normal page flow so the container I'm talking about the header has been shrinked so that is assuming that these two of the elements are not its child anymore okay so I have to fix the header now Just to fix the header I would need to clear the floats so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna write header then the sudo sudo element it's sudo element selector or I guess sudo element whatever content display block clear both perfect so now you can see as soon as the float is cleared the header looks perfect now so I have to give some margins between navbar and this logo so I think I should give some left margin to my navbar margin left it's gonna be 10 pixels yeah, the 10 pixels looks perfect on the right side right after the navigation bar there is a white space I have to fill this up so I'm gonna do this I have to increase the width of my nav bar so the width is gonna be 74, 75, 76, 74 looks fine, 75 looks fine. Perfect. And how about using the float right property for for my navigation bar? now it looks perfect all right so now it's time to go to the content part I'm talking about this brown bordered dip content and the border border color is gonna be let me get this uh, light brown color copy and paste so the brown border has been appeared successfully and uh, I think I have to apply some top margin yes the top margin is required margin top 10 pixels 
perfect now it's time to target my left panel which is uh, inside content I'm gonna give it some width and its width should be equal to the logo logo and the width was 24 percent 24 percent let me give it some temporary height h e i g h t height is going to be 600 pixels and background background color is going to be let me get this color it's sea green I'm done with my uh, what I call it the left panel so now it's time to now it's time to target my right area uh, if I go back to my my grid wrapper now it's time to target my grip grid wrap grid wrap border solid blue the grid red has been appeared and I have to give it the same width as as a navbar actually not navbar it would be lesser than that because I have to adjust the borders as well so I would need to apply the width instead of 75 and 75 pixels I think I should apply 74 pixels width 74 percent not pixels 74 percent okay so I would like to float left my left panel float left and I would like to float write my grid wrap this looks perfect now so I need to clear the float now content is a container that is containing the floated element I would I, I need to target the content container content after and the float has been cleared okay so this time uh, let me go back and see what uh, what I'm gonna do now okay so it's time to target my big box target my big box now let me add some room in my style sheet big box height 200 pixels width 200 pixels or whatever background color background color was purple let me get the exact color this purple color or I guess this one this one the lighter one copy and paste all right so now it's time to target my pink boxes I'm talking about the grid these pink boxes as you notice I have to put those boxes side by side so I would need to use the float property once again and the container will be affected I'm talking about the, this row so the row has to be fixed I'm talking about the clear pool uh, clear float property so 
the rows will be containing the floated elements and I'm gonna fix the float effect float side effect row after and that has been fixed okay so the big box will be floated left and the following elements I'm talking about the grid will be floated right width is gonna be 100 pixels height is gonna be 100 pixels background background color is gonna be pink and uh, I need to choose the pink color this lighter pink Float right or uh, should I use float left instead? Uh, let me replace it with uh, float left. Okay. So I would like to apply some margin left to my pink boxes I think I should uh, I should add an extra class in in these grids top grid you'll know the reason soon paste paste because I'm gonna apply some uh, different style to my top grid so that's why I needed to and give it some different class as well all right so the class I just gave is top grid and I'm gonna target this top grid I'm gonna apply some margin left property uh, which is gonna be 10 pixels or how about I think margin left would be perfect margin left 10 pixels margin bottom 10 pixels perfect okay so now now I have to adjust these boxes I mean at the top row there, there must be four boxes and in the second row there will be four boxes on the left side the big box will have the same height and width okay So now I'm gonna increase the width of my big box. I think I should increase the width and height of my pink boxes as well. One fifty pixels and one fifty pixels. Now it looks a bit perfect. Now I have to target my big box and I have to increase its width 60, 70, 80, 90 to 
295. I have to give it some height. I'm talking about the big box and the height is gonna be How about three or five, three or six, three or seven? this will create some problem uh, I mean what I mean to say is uh, I should have the same width and height for this purple box so I'm stuck over here so what I'm gonna do do is I'm gonna give it the same height 295 pixels how about 300 pixels three hundred pixels and the width is also gonna be three hundred pixels so now I have to reduce the width of my grid 140 141 142 143 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 146 145 I think the height should be 145 pixels that looks perfect so far so good so now I have to target the now I have to target this uh, bottom row This time it's going to be margin bottom property. This should be moved to this rule. Perfect. now I have to apply the margin left property from the second box not from the first box because uh, if I apply the please hold on for a sec okay so as I did before I added up this uh, extra class to my top grid so I would like to give the I would like to like to assign the same extra class I mean the different extra class to my bottom grid bottom grid copy paste 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 So now I have to target this bottom grid.
bottom grid and give, I'm going to apply some margin lift property margin lift and it's going to be 10 pixels as you can see the margin lift shouldn't be applied over here I mean the first two boxes should not be get affected I mean the box number one and the box number one two three four five six seven the box number one and seventh should not get affected so I have to remove this class from box number one and box number second one two three four five six seven so if I refresh the page after saving the style so this is uh, what, what I was talking about I think I should remove this blue border now because uh, the page is a little messy I should also remove the border of this content Now I have to target. Now I have to target my grid and uh, the width. 148, 147 pixels. The 147 pix pixels looks perfect. I think I should reduce the width this time it looks perfect if I close the developer tools so the page looks like this all right so now I need to increase the height of my left panel also which should be the same as this uh, grid part I'm gonna open up uh, my developer tools once again and uh, I would like to pop my developer tools out left panel and the width is gonna be 610 pixels 610 pixels looks perfect and if I go to the grid wrap the width was 74 pixels and what was the width of my navigation bar that was 75 pixels so it's time to make it 75 pixel percent 75 percent and if I go back and if I check my grid so it looks perfect so I need to make this make make some adjustments over here as you can see there is uh, white space on the right side so I have to fill it up I should change the width of my grid to fix this issue and uh, what I'm gonna do is just to get rid of this uh, white space on the right side I should change the width of my grid and uh, first of all I'm going to target my big box and its width should be 305 pixels and I would also change the width of my pink boxes so I'm going to give it 150 pixels inside instead
Okay, so this looks perfect now. one issue and I have also I have to also fix that which is gonna be three one zero looks a little perfect and I should reduce its height I'm talking about the big box I should reduce its height uh, let me add some room I'm running out of room in my style sheet okay so I'm gonna reduce it its height how about three or five pixels three or four one pixels how about 300 pixels yeah 300 pixels look perfect okay so we successfully completed this uh, layout number three and uh, everything looks perfect now so it's time to remove this red border it's a header that is uh, containing this border Border has been removed. The header has been fixed, and rest of the other stuff, other stuff has also been fixed. And I should remove this uh, container border now. So everything looks perfect now. I'm gonna do yeah this is it for this tutorial and uh, I'll see you in tutorial number four